Early season jitters have seen the Highlanders in a position they will probably not be very used to. They're chasing a couple of teams higher on the ladder and have an important match here tonight at Amy Park to take out the Melbourne Rebels, who are themselves struggling in the Australian Conference. Hello, Ron, and welcome along to Cornflake Scrib, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the Highlanders' career mode, where the Rebels are at home up against the Highlanders in a match that both sides need to win. The Melbourne Rebels here, here is their starting 15 for the match, and once again, we met this side in pre-season, and big key signing for them this year is Danny Cipriani starting at fly half for the Rebels. He's going to be so important to how this side operates. A couple of other New Zealanders in there that could be key as well, especially in the back row with John Hardy, the former Highlander, and Jordan Taufua taking the number eight spot. Can Cipriani lead this side around for the Rebels and get them what will be an absolutely massive win against the Highlanders team struggling for form? Another mix-up and shake around in this Highlanders starting 15 to sing some changes once again to the side. Tommy Funa will join Fallentown Franks in the front row. It's a beat metallic hard to move from the second row. Armitage, Warburton, Mullen will take the back row up. Aaron Smith will partner Robbie Robinson and the halves of Stain and Fikatoa. A new partnership in the centre, Savia and Osborne. Al on the wings and of course Captain Ben Smith at fullback leading the side from his most dangerous position. Can the Highlanders find a touch of form to get their season into some running momentum? Of course, we will find out in the next 18 minutes as we are set to get underway here. And interestingly enough, it's Lovo Balavu who will be kicking off for the Rebels. Here we go, super rugby action. Rebels Highlanders, deep kick down. Warburton finds the ball, and Robinson! Wow, an early opportunity for Robbie Robinson. Goes astray as he knocks on. Early mistake. Here's Lovo Balavu, looking to be the one taking over the kicking duties for Cipriani, which is interesting one enough, as here's Tisu running through, big run. From a second rower, Tafua, and Lovo Balavu once again runs hard at the defence. It's all Rebels at the moment. That's why they come. A big gap through the middle, just saw him. Can't get away. Release. And a great defensive play. Savia, work to do for him defensively, as that's a big shot there on Cipriani. Now they look wide. Tafua, great ball out there. Let's have a Mitchell all big tackle. And he has smashed into touch. The Rebels' chances are plenty. Nothing taken for them just yet. Highlanders will happily take this opportunity to get some possession. Get some ball. Aaron Smith away to Savia. Not really too keen on kicking that. Savia gives it to Stain. And here's a chance. Francois Stain chooses the kick. He's got a big chase coming in. Ficator's flying. Here comes Osborne. But it beats them all into touch. Yes, yeah, backtracking a mile was Owen. What's an elusive play there from Francois Stein. And the Rebels now pinned to their own 22. And stolen from Italic. This is the Highlanders, they know. Robinson away for Stein. This is a massive overlap. It'll be a try for Fikatoa. That's a simple finish. Numbers in the back line. And the Highlanders have got the opening try. Thanks to really a kick away, massive punt from Stain that has led to a turnover of the line out and a simple start. Robinson drawing defender, Stain with the catch and pass, and Fekatoa still with the man, Savia outside him. Unrequired try time Highlanders, they're in action here already. Well, Robinson did well, you saw. Lovo Balavu really rushed the line. May have caused the overlap on the other side. Could have stopped that in its tracks. But Robinson equal to the task and saves it beautifully for the Highlanders. Well, here's the man that kicked it all off with a beautiful break. And a thumping kick way downfield as well. Here is Stain. Chance to add another two. Strikes his kick. Wins slightly at his back. And that is a dream of a kick from Stain. He adds another two to the inside centre. And the Highlanders start off looking quite good here in this match here at Amy Park. Super rugby action. Rebels down by seven early on. Just quarter of an hour on the clock. The Rebels. Lovo Balavu. 
gets his back up away and Stain finds it quickly, gives it to Fikatoa who just about got away. Oh, he's having a good match as Malakai Fikatoa. Struggled to make his way into this team with some star-studded players in the centres. Now's his time. Taller forward. Oh, he's giving it straight to the back. Warburton says thank you once again. Robinson spins Fikatoa. Big pass over the top. Savia has the fan. Takes out one defender. Cipriani gets the big don't argue. Aaron Smith waits for the back. Big time pass to Stain again. Oh, good tackle. I love it, Balabu. He had to make it as well. Hits the beef. Away for Sivivaju Falatau. Nice ball over the top for Robinson. There's an overlap. And it's going to be Osborne. He's in for the second already. Patrick Osborne. What a finish. Simple stuff. Numbers for the Highlanders. Well, it's two tries to zip. The Rebels don't look like they have an answer in these early stages. Patrick Osborne joins Fikatar on the try scorers. And Robbie Robinson shows a little glimmer of that form seasons ago. That's seen him tear it up for the Highlanders. Osborne, he's the one who benefits from this beautiful break. There's a space created from Stain again. Robinson to Osborne. And the finish. Too easy. No chance at all for Dusan. He was not quick enough. Here's a try scorer. Number two on the board. And the only chance of the Rebels is quickly gone. And the Highlanders have taken over very quickly here. Here's Stain to add another couple. Starts a left and it just drifts beautifully inside. And another successful conversion for Stain. It's 14 0. And the Rebels fans will then on join the start to this match. 24 minutes on the clock almost. And 14-0, the Rebels down to the Highlanders. Lover Balavu will get it back underway again, and this time Armitage fires it quickly out wide, and we've got another opportunity. Tommy Funa, he goes to Stain, and Stain looks for support. It's there for Savia, fires a miracle pass, doesn't find the one he wanted, and now the Rebels have a chance. Counter attacking back, a great run from Hardy. Oh, he's stolen for Katoa. Oh, that's beautiful. Former teammates over the top for Moen. Revelation at number Release. eight has been Moen, and he's in for another strong performance tonight. Smith out to Stain. Osborne with a standing start. Another overlap looms away for Fikatoa, but he's taken great tackle. Taufua on the money with the quick tackle in there. Now the Rebels look to shift it. Opportunities arise again. Oh, but Frank says no. He's turned this over. And there's Felatau running through the middle. He's dropped the ball cold, which is a surprise. Another overlap loomed there on the left side for the Highlanders. Ritalik numbers again for Katoa. Looks for that opportunity. This time delivers the pass. Spinning wide, but they find no way through. And Weeks is the one with the intercept. Release. Highlanders look to turn it over. The Rebels will want to try and exit here out of their 22. Ball and field. Andrew and Nizzo goes here. Here's top footer again. Still offloading. Still plenty through Smith. Release. Rebels nearly up to the halfway line. Here's a quick run off the back from Dusan. He's kicked that. Is it going to hold up? Is it going to go all the way? Ben Smith will let it run. He'll let it run. He'll let it go all the way. Oh, that was so close. Almost let it go too far. Did Ben Smith? It almost sat right up. Crouch. In the Crouch. end goal. What a heart stopper Six. that is. So scrum feed way back where it was kicked from Dusan. And an easy scrum one from the Highlanders. Mullen, Aaron Smith over the top. Stang, quick hands. Finds it out to Osborne. Osborne will cut and field again. Looking for Robinson. Robinson fans one and two. It's going to ground just. Great tackle from Inman. Rebels, oh, half-time's gone. They'll want to get this over with. They've had a nightmare of a start so far. Back it goes. And again, it's Inman who kicks us away. Ben Smith will track across and pull it in. He'll look to run. Gets through. Oh, beautiful play. Oh, and Lover Balava is left for dust. Ben Smith showing a glimpse of what he can do. Fanatel over the top for Fikatawa. Gives it to Stain. Stain hits the line at speed. Runs straight through. Pass to Robinson. Round the corner, Fanatel. Oh, it's Bob for the corner. He's got another one. 
Oh, this is sublime finishing from the Highlanders. The hands are like glue, and the result is coming very easily at the moment. Patrick Osborne gets a second, but look how good this was. Staying through the gap. Oh, Lava Balavu made a great effort, but the pass and the tackle was key. It was kept alive beautifully from Falatau, and the finish from Osborne was, as you would expect, sensational. And the try is scored third of the first half. Robinson, that was sublime from him as well. Another great try from the Highlanders. Patrick Osborne has a double already in the first half. And Stain, well, he's looking good for his paycheck this week. Really running elusively. His kicking is absolutely brilliant. And as we'll head to the sheds for half time, the Highlanders extend their lead to 21. Well, Stain is on the money. Three beautiful kicks. And the Rebels have had nothing in response at all as they head to half time. Weeks and Cipriani and Sharp their disappointment from their performance. The Highlanders running rampant here over the Rebels and look really odds on to get that four try bonus point so early in this match already. The possession isn't too far off. 57 43 to the Highlanders. Not too much of a difference there. The Rebels had a definitely enough ball to get something in this match. Territory, that's a bit different though. Highlanders up over 60%. The handling here is our Rebels good with zero. Highlanders giving away seven mistakes, but you wouldn't think it given the scoreline so far. The Rebels amazingly have put together a five plus phase as well. Not getting any reward from that at all and have made over double the tackles of the Highlanders from that first 40 minutes. What will the second 40 hold? Can the Highlanders continue this absolute destruction of the Rebels we will find out second half is about to kick off Stain has been on top of his game no question about that today he has been excellent and he'll kick us back off he goes to the right hand side Osborne two try score already flies high but easily picked up the Rebels get Release. the ball nicely through Andrew They'll set it up here. Toussaint will look for a run himself, but he's driven back. Please. And the Highlanders pile in. Oh, easy turnover here. Fanatau. Short guys to Tommy and Funa. Front row partners. Here's Fikatoa. Looking for support. Oh, and a Savia who has dropped that. Robinson's got up and had another go. And why not as well? The Rebels get numbers of the breakdown. But they don't find the ball on their side. It's the beast. Will instead. Stain really rocking the ship here. And there's Osborne looking to shimmy away but can't get through. A good tackle from Rockaboro is opposite on this occasion. Inside ball. Oh, that's a beautiful intercept. That's repaid instantly from Cipriani. Right turnover Armitage. It is all happening here. Stain going through the middle. He's taken down. And finally a stoppage and the match has just lifted in pace already in the second half as Robinson looks to play the numbers. Big tackle and injury as well. Robbie Robinson has gone down. Looks to be an injury to his stomach area. Well, it, indeed it is shoulder that Robinson seems to have injured holding that chest region. And well, adequate replacement coming off the bench as well. Lima Sopawanga but Robinson, wow, what a Coach. shame. He was starting to show those two blistering runs that we know he's capable of just charging through the line. Offloads of plenty, hands of gold. But it's all come to, well, a disappointing end at the moment because he's off the field with an injury. We'll see how long he's out for later. And Stain, Stain two, and this is going to be another try for the Highlanders. Sopawanga, he's on the field for two minutes and he's going to try for his first touch. Oh, what a time to come on, Lima Sopawanga. And he has nailed that beautifully in support of Stain, who has run absolutely rampant through this Rebels team. Look at this. Is that line break number six from one man here? And then the offload and the tackle. Well, Osborne wanted his hat trick, but Sopawanga said mine. And he trots on in for his first try with his first touch of the ball as well. How good is Stain at the moment? He is sublime. Excellent try. The Highlanders trot in. Fourth try and a bonus point in the bank. What better way could you hope to go through this match? 
Five points pretty much in the bag. We have seen nothing from the Rebels here in this match at all. Another two on offer here for Stain, who has been just brilliant all day. And he makes no mistake. Would you expect anything else from the four is showing tonight against the Rebels? 28-0. Changes coming for the Highlanders. We have Matu coming on the field. You see Moen coming off for Falatau on the back line. Gordy making his way on for Smith. And it is George North on for Julian Savia. This is the final change from that break. Here's Lobo Balavu to get us back underway. Highlanders receiving and new man Matu. Oh, early touch and an early loss of the ball. The Highlanders backwards there in their first change of position. Slip ball up. Beautiful work as well. Finds it for Inman. Lobo Balavu, big pass on the top. A chance here. But Rockaboro is hammered. And Osborne turns him over as well. Armitage over the top. He goes to North. First touch of the ball for North. And North runs away. Cipriani gives chase. Here comes Owen. Owen will come in. Chip over the top of his head. The chase is on. And a great take from Cipriani. Secures the ball for the Rebels. And an absolute try saver. But Inman knocks on. And Stain will pick that up. Highlanders would love to keep this ball in hand though. Gordy and advantage is over, so they've done exactly that. Big pass wide. Armitage, numbers here. Osborne, hat trick. Count it, that's in. Patrick Osborne, hat trick hero. The Highlanders, five tries. They are looking at the top of their peak right now. 33 to nil. A hat trick for Patrick Osborne. Leading the way for the Highlanders. What a pass. Armitage took it beautifully, but Osborne wasn't expecting. Such a bullet from Lima Sopoanga. Caught them a bit short, but they got it done. Look at that. What a ball. Away for Armitage. Great work from the flanker to get that done. And Osborne happily goes in for his third try of the match. Sublime stuff. Well, the first try we've seen that hasn't involved this man. Takes a bit of a breather for that one, but the team, boy, more than capable. Here he comes for his fifth kick tonight and his fifth successful kick as well. Wow, Stain, he is absolutely cleaning up tonight. Still 15 minutes remain. It is 35 to nil. The Rebels comprehensively outplayed, had their chances, no question. But has not gone their way at all as Armitage finds Stain and Stain goes down in the tackle. Surprised the Highlanders haven't brought him off for a bit of a rest. Such a key man in form, but he plays on here. And the Rebels turn it over and they've got a chance. Release. Big balls coming inside. But eventually Hardy goes to ground. Everybody. They change directions. Oh, Stain's offside. And it's a chance for Mitchell. He'll score it. Simple stuff for the Rebels. And they're over in the right-hand corner. Well, they let that one get away from them there. The Highlanders and Mitchell has scored. There's the run from Hardy. But we send quick ball to Son. When one time Talfua, big pass over the top north. Well, he was majorly off his defender right there. And gone like a bullet. Mitchell, no slouch. This is a great play from Taufua to find his winger out there. Mitchell scores a great try, and the Rebels have something at least to celebrate from this match. Well, Cipriani has no kicking duties at all. Jake Owen will be taking the kicks off the tee, and he steps up, hits this one nicely, and adds a two. Well, very easy and very simple kicking style there from Jake Owen. No mistake indeed from him. And it's 35 7. We've got ourselves over 40 points for this match. Horribly one sided though. Highlanders flexing their strength here tonight against the Rebels. Kick off to the right, and Osborne flies high, but he's taken down beautifully from Tulafula. The Rebels look to go short. And Andrew, straight to traffic. Release. Highlanders hang on in defense. 
Tough forward, eventually going wide. More space out here. And Lavu Balavu finds numbers and a big breakaway. Here's a big chance for Cipriani. Back in field he goes. Here's a big run coming in from Soiolo. He's going to get away. Guy won't catch him either. And it's a try for Soiolo. Whoa, the Rebels are back. So little, so lag though. Archie Soiolo and his confirmation there was Cipriani. Big pass and wow, credit here to Soiolo. Out pace Sopoanga and then could not be caught from Gordy either. What speed showing from the blindside flanker. That is a great try from the Rebels who are taking advantage here of a slightly dozed Highlander side going off the boil with this huge lead. And the Rebels, well, they've stolen two tries back now. How much time is there left for them to get any more? That is the question. Can they chase more than just some consolation tries? Still four minutes on the clock. Owen, no mistake again, another good kick. Short, sharp, bang, straight to the point from Owen and straight over the post. 35 to 14. Five tries to two and we have four minutes remaining in this match. Well, you got to give credit to the Rebels again. Showing good fight back here. Getting themselves at least to a respectable scoreline. Now up they go and again it's easily taken down the Rebels. Tolafua, the hooker, is on fire claiming these kickoffs. Now he's down for Advantage Holland has fought past and that will signal the end from the Rebels. Soialo again scored the magnificent try. But now has given away a forward pass. Oh, yeah, that was definitely forward as well. Crouch. Touch. See. There goes the buzzer. Full time is on us. Oh, the Rebels are keen for some more here. The Highlanders just had to win the scrum. The Rebels have turned this over. And they'll have one more chance here. The song goes wide. There's Lava Balavu. He passes. Advantage. Keeping it open. Oh, he's knocked it on. Clean through. And a chance now for the Highlanders. It's Warburton running away from the chase. Here's Gordy. Can't get the ball away. Looking for his outside set to Fikatawa. Advantage. Oh, that's a horrible ball. Advantage to the Highlanders. So offside it is indeed. That pass was dreadful. I thought it was forward for a second. But here we go. There's the offside. No, that was Lobo Balavu. Interesting call. Stain. He'll decide to tap, and he'll run. Ratala hits the line hard. Pass back to Armitage. Here's Sopawanga. Sopawanga throws down the back door. Oh! Dreadful ball there. Onto the throat of Osborne. Warburton. But oh, Warburton, I don't know what he's thinking. He smashed it into touch, and that'll be it. Well, Warburton's had enough. He's kicked things sideways there. Was he looking for Osborne? It will not matter because there is full time. Well, a very hush around the crowd. A huge silence as this match comes to a close. The crowd have been completely disappointed by their team here. The Highland has, Highlanders have decimated the Rebels in this Super Rugby fixture. Amy Park home for the Rebels, but they have not delivered anything for their faithful fans. 35-14, to 14, the game was over really just after half time the Highlanders fell asleep and the Rebels, well they found something to give back, Soialo and Mitchell got late tries, Owen converted them both to give them their 14 points the Highlanders though from the, right from the outset they dominated Fikitoa won, Sopawanga won but it was Patrick Osborne with a hat trick of tries who led the way for the Highlanders and of course well Stain, what can you say freakish performance from him, probably got at least three try assists and five conversions. He was amazing out there for the Highlanders. Into the full-time stats. And, well, possession was almost even. The Rebels will be disappointed they didn't get more from the amount of ball they had. Territory, though, was probably what led them down, pinned down in their half for two-thirds of the match. The Highlanders made quite a lot of handling errors as well. 14-4 to four from that matchup. So that's a huge amount of mistakes from the Highlanders. But they get the win, as they seem to have a habit of doing. The tackle count, once again, over 100. Big-time defense from both sides, making a lot of tackles. 
A few scrums in the match, all to the Highlanders, but the injuries, how will that affect them? Robbie Robinson, of course, going down. What will we see in the future now? We'll have to see how long Robbie's out for. Can Sopawanga step up to the plate? Is it time for Stain to move in one after this dominant display? We'll have a look at the team and see what changes will need to be made. But first, we'll check out a couple of results between our two matches here. Last match of round six and the third of round seven. But in between there, we've had the Hurricanes with a good win over the Western Force and the Chiefs with a close one over the Bulls. So as for the standings, the Highlanders, what's surprising here, top of the table. All three of their wins coming with bonus points and the loss as well, giving them 15 points. But they're equal tied first with the Blues and the Chiefs. That is a three-way tie for top spot, but it is points differential. Look at that, 14-9 for the Highlanders. Thanks mainly to that big win they got in the last round. Blues, 9, and the Chiefs just plus 7. Hurricanes in the negatives just by 4, though. And the Crusaders on 8 points, just struggling to keep up on 8 points. They've got a points differential of 0. So the Crusaders, a team that actually beat the Highlanders... Are struggling at the bottom of the table. They only win against the Hollanders as well. The Hurricanes are still in it. They need results in their next couple of fixtures. In South Africa, the Bulls lead the way. They're the Sharks, four points behind on 14. Stormers, 12. Lions, 7. Cheetahs, 5 to round out South Africa. In Australia, five matches from the Reds, 19 points. They are quite flying high, aren't they? The Warrantars right behind them on 18. And then the Brumbies on 17. Very close in a couple of these conferences as well. All of the conferences really in this early stage of the season. The Rebels on seven, and look at the force. They've played two matches more than everyone else, yet they are down at the bottom on just four points. So for that done and us, so we'll check out what the news item we have is here. And the injury to Robinson, I, I am thinking they might be linked. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. This is bad. The following player has been injured and will not be available for selection until further notice. Robbie Robinson has a fractured jaw and will be unable to play for 10 weeks. Wow. 10 weeks. Oh dear. So Robinson is going to miss a good chunk of this Super Rugby season. A huge injury for Robbie Robinson. Of course, we have the options. Moving Stain and uh, to... Number 10, move him to fly half from inside centre. That's a possibility, but do we leave him there and bring in, of course, Sopawanga off the bench to start? They are the options. Let me know what you'll think about who should start at number 10 for the Highlanders. And the next round match is the Blues, which is going to be huge as well. Just the fact that the Blues and the Highlanders all tied up 15 points. A big win here for the Blues could put turmoil into the Highlanders season. We will see what happens next time. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you're enjoying this Highlanders career mode. And don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new around the channel so you don't miss out the rest of the season. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. I'll see you all next time for the Highlanders and the Blues. Until then, take care.